everyone for OneWrestling.com at the after chat. Dean Malenko, welcome. Thank you, Bill. It's great to see you. It's great to be seen. So uh, about a week or two ago, I spoke with your brother, Jody, uh, regarding this uh, great event that's coming up in Florida uh, to make a, a wall, a Florida wall of fame. Do you want to tell people more about this? Yeah, basically what it is is uh, Fort Hesley Army was comparable to Madison Square Garden to the Northeast. And it's a building that uh, housed wrestling for over 25 years. I was there for, for a lot of that. Yeah, you, you were there for when Moses fought. Uh, Dave that's, Lincoln. That's, that's another story. Did, did, did. That's another story. And there are so many guys who, through the, uh, through the years, uh, a list of names that just go on and on, that got their start or at, some, at one point in their career worked at the, at the Army there in Tampa. And we wanted to just kind of get back. The building was bought by the Jewish Community Center, uh, which is owned by the Glazers who own the yes, Buccaneers. Yes. And uh, they offered a, a wall of uh, fame, so to speak, and put the guys' names on and try to keep the legacy of wrestling in Tampa. So this fundraiser is uh, being uh, held on June 11th, I yeah, believe? Yeah, June 11th. Yeah, and all, all the details uh, are right here. You can uh, read them right under the screen here. And uh, just the history of uh, your family. I mean, your dad, Boris Malenko, he was such an integral part of the Florida wrestling scene. Yeah, my dad wrestled uh, since 1967 in Florida, had about a 15-year feud with Eddie Graham uh, that lasted yeah. for so many years and it was you know back then there was no Tampa Bay Buccaneers no Tampa Bay Lightning the only entertainment in town was was pro wrestling it was Florida Championship Wrestling yes. Yes. and it was a big part of uh, my life my brothers and everybody that grew up in Tampa Wow. so like I said I was there for a lot of that before we let you go uh, tell everybody what you're doing these days I know but the people out there may not uh, I'm a producer with uh, World Wrestling Entertainment been there for the last 15 years enjoy what I do and and still enjoy the business. And uh, NXT is amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a great uh, it's training facility on. and training ground for young and upcoming talent. And uh, It's become it's, a monster, yeah, hasn't it? Is, it? it is. Yeah, it's, a good one. It's a really good product. A uh, little surprise right now that uh, we're ending this interview uh, because of the tradition of Florida. Um, I found an old audio interview I did with your dad, and I'd like us all to... Uh, Listen to it right now as we tell you more about this great event. Thank you, Dean Malenko. Hold on, I'm trying to listen to it. Uh, I think I can hear it. Okay, this is Bill After. We're speaking here with uh, Boris the Great, in parentheses, Malenko. It's no longer Boris the Great Malenko? It's Professor Boris Maximilianovich Malenko. That's your full name? That is my full, correct name. What name we call you? Yes, sir. Boris Maximilianovich Malenko. Okay, may we call you Professor? You may call me Professor. Okay. A title that is very, very just. Where did you get the title? The title has been given to me in Europe as a professorship for sociology and physical education in the University of Minchin and also the University of Leningrad many, many years ago, along with other titles that have created through world travel. I've also, I've also prided myself in being a professor in the College of Hard Knocks. And may I add that uh, this is the greatest professorship I can truthfully say. Of course, let me ask you this question. A couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, we've seen that change in Boris Malenko's style. You were, uh... Let me make a difference. Oh, no, never saw a change in Boris Malenko's style. Well, you've been uh, cheered by the fans now. What's the reason for this? The reason is, for 12 years, in and about the Miami area, in and about all through Florida, I have been a legend. When you stay in a place for such a length of time, you become like something that wears on people. They learn to respect. They learn to come forth with admiration. Well, admiration has followed me along with these many years. When you stay in a place uh, almost over a decade, you build this type of reputation. And eventually, the people begin to take you into their hearts. Now, let me just say something to you, Sather, and I want you to pay close attention. <clears throat> people know the difference between talent, wrestling talent, and the ability what it takes to win matches. This is why, after all these years span, they have grown this respect and admiration. And I also would like to add that I have never changed my style. I wrestle the same way. It's just circumstances through the course of the opponents that I have wrestled through the years. Like Fred Blassie, for example. Almost an identical situation. But 
<laughs> Professor Malenko has often been imitated but never duplicated. Now, I would like to say this also. Miami is a place for vacation and also a place of joy and also uh, like the rest of Florida. Disney World has brought forth a lot of people into the state, new, new wrestling fans, and uh, the population has, has grown along with the population of, uh, of everyday occurrence. And these wrestling fans also, along with the others, have sort of climbed on the bandwagon like sort of a, a magnetic force that has taken them right along. Uh, I would also venture to say that people are a victim of circumstances. They follow a pattern. When, if you have a certain amount of people cheering, they have, they have a way of going along with the situation. I see. People are victims of, of habit. So, so I'm sure you've seen this in many other sports and many other ways. Now, there is no such thing as a so-called favorite or so-called person who you would say would be... Uh, Do you enjoy being cheered more by the fans than now, when they boo? Now listen to me, listen closely. Take close attention. I am. There okay. is, there is no athlete in the world that can truthfully look you in the eye and tell you that he doesn't enjoy the respect and admiration from any crowd. So you try to follow along a certain pattern of fairness. But doesn't it seem like some wrestlers live on being booed? People like, uh, let's say, Pompero Furpo? I I know of from Pompero Furpo. I know of many other wrestlers. But this is a certain... Let's say Mephisto, even. Well, let me, let me just say this. There are favorites, and there are people who have uh, a sort of dislike for a person that is not a favorite. Now, I just happen to capture the people's hearts. And the, pe the person who... You see, I have made Florida my home. I have a couple places where I resided in Florida, have throughout the years, and the people have seen me many times, and, and I become close to, as close to them as the next door neighbor. You must have. When you mingle with people, you become part of them. And just being part of them, it's sort of giving me the credentials of being a, uh, uh, almost as their next door neighbor, you might as well say.